How is everyone? I hope you're all well. It's Monday. It's Monday. We've got to love Mondays. Not many people do, but <laughs> look, look, every day is a day closer to the summer holidays. And hopefully you've got holidays planned and things to do, stuff to, you know, get out in the sun, get some vitamin D, get some vitamin D at least. And anyway, straight into the meat and potatoes. And what are we talking about? We're talking about the Nicola bully case and look some of you are going to be like well this is just a simple situation where a woman fell into a river fell into a river and um off she went down the river lost her life left her phone behind because something during that call meant that she went towards the water to retrieve some of them perhaps and she slipped and fell down the embankment and look the rest is history and look, perhaps that is exactly what happened. We're obviously waiting for an autopsy and all these sort of things to come out and let us know what's going on. But I don't think that they're going to say that there has been anything else. I don't think so. I can't. There's been no sort of signs that there are going to be things being said about this case. But something has happened in the background, which may start to raise a few people's eyebrows. And what am I talking about? I hear you say. And we're going to look at this together. Now, with respect of what is going on. My screen's gone. My screen has actually disappeared. There we go. Get the screen back. So, cops searching for a missing man who disappeared in chillingly similar circumstances, Nicola Bully have found human remains. Now, hospital reporter Peter Baglan, 55, from Greater Manchester, disappeared on December the 28th after going for a walk along the nearby Bridgewater Canal, just 35 miles from where the mum of two Nicola Bully went missing. There's a picture of Peter. There's been... Um, no formal identification made at present. We've got the area cordoned off here. But it says, In a chilling echo of the young mum's disappearance, his mobile phone was found abandoned on the grass verge, along with his hat and headphones. But Cox... Cops... Cox... <laughs> slip of the tongue. Slip of the tongue have now confirmed they have sadly found human remains following a further search of the area around Bridgewater Canal. Police tape remained up at the scene tonight, cordoning off the paths along the canal. The remains have not been formally identified, but Peter's next of kin have been informed, and specialist officers are continuing to support the family and their loved ones. The death is currently being treated as unexplained, and inquiries are ongoing to establish the circumstances. Greater Poli Manchester Police have issued a statement with a spokesperson saying officers from GMP's tactical aid unit made a discovery on Saturday the 4th of March 2023 at around 10.48am following a further search of the area around the Bridgewater Canal in Boothstown. The remains have not been formally identified, however, Peter's next of kin have been informed and specialist officers are continuing to support the family and their loved. Um, the death is currently being treated as unexplained and inquiries are ongoing to establish the surrounding circumstances. While Detective Inspector Michael Sharples of the GMP Salford District said, Though we are not currently in a position to confirm this is Peter, our thoughts remain with his wife Michelle and his loved ones. We understand that the last two months have been extremely difficult for them and this continues to be a distressing time for all of Peter's loved ones. Search teams made up of GMP personnel and colleagues from partner agencies such as the National Police Air Service, Northwest Under Underwater Search Team and Mountain Rescue have worked extensively to try and find Peter. And one thing I will say here look, is if this has taken a substantially longer time to find the remains of this guy and they themselves are using police resources obviously and underwater dive teams so the question is why so much criticism being put on the search teams in the nicola bully case when they found nicola in a lot shorter period of time 
Um, you know, I know the dive team themselves didn't, but that's purely because they come out of the water. They hadn't been given all of the information they needed and their search was concluded and then more information come out and the police continued to search. But anyway, that's my sideways rant there for a second. Let's go back. Um, I would like to take this opportunity to thank everyone who has assisted to date and also confirm that our inquiries will not stop until we have found the necessary answers for Peter's loved ones, for our investigation and for coronial proceedings. Pete was last seen on CCTV buying whiskey at a garage in Mosley Common near Worsley. On a phone call minutes later, he assured wife Michelle he would be home soon, but he never returned. Peter's heartbroken wife wrote a touching, open letter to Nicola Bully's partner, Paul Ansell, back in February. Michelle mentioned that she knew exactly how you're feeling after Peter vanished on a walk just like Nicola. In the days after the disappearance, Greater Manchester Police had mounted an extensive search for the grandfather, with teams specialising in mountain rescue, underwater search and drones being deployed. Police sent divers into the Bridgewater Canal for a second time in recent days, as in the hope of potential new leads in the search for the great granddad. There we go. Basically, what we're saying is that we've got a guy who, 35 miles down the the river, you know, down the way, 35 miles away from where Nicola was, found. She went missing. Phone left on the side. We've got another person who disappeared in very similar circumstances, and there's still questions around that. So my question to you guys is, is this connected in any way shape or form could there be someone in the background who is doing something to people are we going is it would it be a fair assumption to feel that perhaps nicola didn't go into the water on that day that she could have gone into the water perhaps at a later date in a different part of the water um who knows who knows but just eerily similar an area eerily similar case with the phone being left or is this just a sign that people need help more than ever you know there's a lot of stuff going on out there we had a, a live last night a mental health live that we do monthly is this just a sign that people do need help people are struggling out there and they need help they need support and it's just some people are just not getting the help that they need is that the connection there let me know down below what you think, if you know about this case, if you've been following it, and what you think to the Nicola Bully case so far. Is that done? Is that finished with? There is nothing more to see here. I'll catch you all in the next one.